And it was the first time I had ever seen that m many people in a room um, that all spontaneously shut up at once and like didn't say anything for a couple hours. Like no people were up there talking and nobody had like they weren't coughing, they weren't saying anything shitty to each other. Everybody was just listening. And so I thought that was kind of powerful. He said, you know, I had leukemia. And uh, I guess he got diagnosed when he was around 18 or, or 19, some, somewhere in there. And, and he fought it, and he won. And he was in remission, and he never mentioned a word of it. Over, like, you know, two, two years that I knew him, never said a single thing about it. That's just the kind of person that he was. Pastor goes, Taylor, you're blind. Um, you... For the rest of your life, you're not going to be able to move the left side of your body. And it's going to take a whole hell of a lot of work for you ever to walk again. More than likely, it's not going to happen. I just, you know, just stay calm, stay still. You want to know the first thing I did after he said that? The very first thing. Anybody have a guess? I stood up. <laughs> <laughs> in my awesome ass hospital gown. Yeah. <laughs> my grandma's in the room. She loves this story. She loves it. I stood, up. I stood up. I walk over to him. I stick out my left hand. And I said, Sir, I really appreciate you saving my life. <laughs> just hearing my story and just saying, you know, this, this happened to me less than a year ago. And I'm up here telling you about it now. Telling you about everything that I have done. So it's really a blessing to be able to share my stuff. And I feel like it needs to be shared.